Hi again, children. Hi. I'm going to show you today how fun math can be. So we had the last time. I've shown you all the numbers up to 10. And now we're going to find how we can add numbers to other numbers. Isn't that fun? Math is fun. Because adding numbers to other numbers is called math. And I'm going to show you today that math is so fun. This lovely, lovely sign is the addition sign. So, we're gonna do some additions, guys. What do you think about it? We're gonna use lovely color blue that we used it also for one. So, we can do the addition. Oh, isn't that lovely? Let's do it. I'm so excited. Oh, this is the addition sign. Oh, oh wow. It looks like a cross. Isn't that fun? Oh, look at this, guys. This is the addition sign. Like a cross. Oh, isn't that precious? Mm, we're putting it here. Let's add some numbers. Oh, let's see if we add To one, another one. Oh, so we need a sign that is going to do this operation, guys. We have the addition sign, but we need another sign so we can see the result. Can you guess what is the other sign? that we're doing after the addition operation? Yay! It's equal sign! Yay! Well done! You're doing excellent! Let's use another color for this pretty sign. Oh, we have color green for this! Oh, isn't that marvelous? Let's use color green for equal sign. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is equal sign. Let's clean equal sign. Look at Equal sign is like a two parallel lines. Oh, look at this. Isn't that lovely? So, we have the operation. One plus one is oh, so if we have one apple and we adding another apple how many apples do you think we have ah oh, you're right we have two apples and one apple we can keep it for ourselves and the other one 
we can share with somebody else because sharing is caring children oh look at this we have one plus one equals two isn't that precious well done let's add more numbers what do you think so we're gonna save one and what number can we add to one What about if we adding zero to one? Oh, let's try. Hmm. What do you think it will be if we add to one? Nothing. If we add to one, nothing. You're right, it stays the same. Because if you ha add nothing to something, that something stays the same. The something stays the same. Let's put zero aside, one aside, and the other one aside. With what numbers do you think we can play with? What do you think if we use number two and we add, let's say, a one? What do you think is going to be the resulted number after equal? What do you think is going to be the result? If we adding to two, another one. Oh, it's three. It's three. It's like we counting when we saying one, two, three. If we adding to two, a one. It's three because it's like counting forward. Well done, children. Very good. You're doing excellently. It's three. Well done. We're putting the numbers back. And Let's try another mathematics match. What do you think, children? What about if we adding five to this five? We adding Let's say next number six. What do you think is gonna be? Ah, what do you think is gonna be? We have five apples and we adding another six apples is gonna be 11 apples all kind of colorful 11 apples well done children well done
Let's put the numbers to their places. And let's try another lovely operation for today. What do you think it's going to be by adding to 9? A one. What number do you think is going to be equal to? What comes when counting after number nine? What comes, guys? <gasps> yes, is number ten. You are so good, very good, my dear children, very good, nine plus one equals ten, very good, children, plus means addition, you're adding something, something else, and after equal, after equals, comes the new result. Don't forget about it. What you need to remember after today's lesson is when you're adding To a number, a one result is equal with the next number when you're counting forward. So if we have two plus one equals three, because after two. If you're adding another one, comes three. After two, comes three. If you add another one. Or, if we add two, three, Another one is gonna be four because after three, when counting forward, when you add one equals four. Don't forget that, children. And we're gonna put the numbers in their places and another lesson that you need to remember after today is if you add nothing to something it stays the same something so if we have one plus zero it stays one because to one we added nothing or zero and it will be just the same the same is going to be for the rest of the numbers. These are all the lessons that you need to remember for today, my dear children. And 
I will see you next time with fresh numbers, fresh operations, and more mathematics. Bye! Bye-bye!